Boxing fans, it's time for the rematch after the rematch. Canelo Alvarez and Triple G square up for the third time this Saturday at T-Mobile Arena in Vegas. New York Post boxing beat writer Jared Schwartz is in the building, and we're going to break down the trilogy. You ready, my man? Absolutely, Brian. Always ready to throw some hands with you. All right, here we go. Ding! All right, so boxing promoter Eddie Hearns said that he predicts that this is going to end in a KO. The last two fights went the distance all 12 rounds. How do you see this fight going? You know, it's really interesting. They're coming into this fight at completely different points in their career and okay. completely different points in their recent um, bouts. Canelo Alvarez hadn't lost since 2013 in his, in his big fight against Floyd Mayweather. Yep. He went up to light heavyweight to challenge Dimitri Bivol for, for another belt in another division. He got dominated. Mm. He, was, he was beaten badly. He was not embarrassed, but it, was, it provided a little you know, reality into his career. Okay. Um, he can't just go into any division he wants, fight whoever he wants. Um, it, it, it injected a little bit of dose of reality. So he's coming off a loss, his first loss in, in many years. GGG is coming off a couple of wins, a couple dominant wins, a couple stoppage wins, but over inferior opponents. So, okay. so, so they're coming into this fight um, from different points. Look, these guys are going to try to knock each other out. And I, and I, and I spoke to GGG recently. Um, the first two fights, the judging was, was controversial, yep. particularly that first, that first fight in the split decision. And I asked GGG, are you looking for that knockout to kind of take some of that you know, responsibility and take the decision out of the judge's hands yep. so there's no controversy, so there's no you know, bad scorecards like you thought in the first fight? And he said, you know, I'm always looking for the knockout, but I trust the judges. Um, I, I trust you know, their decisions. But he's looking for a knockout. And, and believe me, Canelo doesn't like him. He's always looking for a knockout. Well, let's talk about that. But Well, first, neither one of them have been knocked out in their career. But there's some real bad blood, just not your regular, everyday boxing hype. There's real bad blood between these two. Why? It, it's, it's interesting, Brandon. Canelo's been open. He said, this fight's personal for me. This third fight is, is personal for me. It's personal for him. And then okay. it's interesting. I've spoken to GGG. Um, he said it's not personal. He said, who do, you know, who's making it personal? When you look at the press conferences, when you look at their exchanges, he says he's making it personal. For me, it's, more, it's just business. It's another fight. But then you listen to his answers, and you can tell it's personal. You know, in, in one breath, he's telling me it's not personal. And then the next breath, he's telling me you know, the, the, the judges um, in the last card were used. And you know, his exact quote was, they were used like disposable tissues and, Ooh. and thrown Ooh. away. Um, you know, it's personal for a couple of reasons. It's personal because of, of the judging, like I said. Um, the, the first fight, the split decision, was extremely controversial. Um, you know, a lot of people thought GGG won. Um, and then that second fight, a little less controversial. Canelo took home the majority decision, but you know, GGG hasn't admitted that he lost. He thought he had the better of, of Canelo. Um, and those words have kind of rubbed Canelo the wrong way, making okay. excuses, okay. Um, you know, doubting the judges. And beyond that, before that second fight, you know, as, as many people know, Canelo was suspended for PEDs. Um, he blamed it on, on tainted meat from, from Mexico. Oh, okay. oh, G, GGG, you know, has, has not bought that for one second. Since, you know, for five years, he's been um, calling out that excuse, you know, call, calling out that, that, um, that reasoning. So there's bad blood from that. Okay. And then also there's just bad blood from their legacies. You know, these are two of the best middleweights, two of the best pound-for-pound pound boxers of a generation, they both have their legacies intact, but they know their legacies are connected. Their legacies will always be, um, you know... Intertwined. Compared to compared one another. To compared to okay. So when it comes to this fight, the trilogy, it's the third one, who needs this win more for that, their legacy? It's, you know, like I said, Canelo coming off a loss, he needs to provide some spark back into his career. You know, he's... he's a guy like him is not used to coming off losses. So, so someone like him, someone who's used to fighting huge title fights, um, it is a lot of pressure on him. But, you know, this, this is the first time, the first two fights were at, were at middleweight. This is at yeah. super middleweight, uh, meaning all, of, all four of Canelo's undisputed titles are on yeah. the line. Um, now, he's been, he's been the undisputed super middleweight champ. GGG, for all his accomplishments, for all his accolades, for all his, you know, legendary... Um, performances in the ring, 
he's never been an undisputed champ. So this would provide him way late in his career an opportunity to, to become an undisputed champion for the first time. All right. Well, you know what? The way you just broke that down, you're the undisputed champ. And it all goes down Saturday night, like I said earlier, at T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's Canelo, Triple G, the trilogy, live on DAZN pay-per-view. Thanks for joining us, my man. Thank you, Brand.